Parker from DesperateChampions.com, and I'm doing another GD Math Practice Problem of the Day. This one's a little bit harder than some of my other examples I've been doing recently. At least I think so. So go ahead and try this out. You want to do, solve this expression. The expression is 2x squared minus 10x minus 28 divided by 2x minus 14. Go ahead, pause the video, and try it out. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to do this on your own. If not, that's okay, too. Here's how you do it. So first, what I want you to recognize is that we can take a 2 out of each of these numbers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this whole thing up here. And so 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So we have our x squared and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And we keep the minus sign out front. So same with the 28. We've got minus 28 and divide that by 2. That's 14. And down here we divide 2x by 2. You just get x. Minus 14 divide that by 2. We get minus 7. Okay, so now what we want to do is we, we want to now factor the top part of our fraction here. So this is the whole expression up top here, x squared minus 5x minus 14. We want to factor that, all right, because it is a quadratic equation. So hopefully you recognize that. So what we can do is we could factor this. And I've made a couple videos and other problems of the day on this, so I'll, I'll link to that down below if you're having trouble. But what we do is we want to look at our coefficient here, the number in front of x squared, and it's just a 1, but we don't usually write it, right? So we take this 1, and we're going to multiply it by negative 14, and that just gives us negative 14. So what we then do is we want to find two numbers that will multiply together to give us negative 14, but that will add up together to give us negative 5. So let's just list some factors of negative 14 off the top of our head. So obviously we've got 1 and negative 14. And by factors, I just mean numbers that you can multiply together to give you negative 14, but that will also add up to be negative 5. So negative 1 and 14. But if we multiply 1 times negative 14, we will get negative 14. But if you add these together, you're not going to get negative 5. So neither of these pairs is going to help us out here. So what about 2 and negative 7? Well, 2 times negative 7 gives us negative 14. And 2 plus negative 7 is negative 5. So this is actually going to work here. So we've got this 2 and we've got negative 7. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's look here at this coefficient, which is a 1, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me get rid of that equal sign there just to give us some room to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to write x plus 2 and x minus 7. And if we had a different coefficient here besides 1, we would want to divide each of these numbers by it. Like, for example, if this was a 3, which it's not, but if it was a 3, we would then have, like, this 3x, and we would have 3x here. And then what you could do, if, if it was a 3, which it's not, that would actually mess up this whole calculation. But let's just say it was a 3, and these were the same numbers that we had here. You would just divide a 3 by each thing, so you would end up with x plus 2 over 3 and x minus 7 over 3. But that's not the case here. I just wanted to make a point, not to confuse you, but just to explain this a little bit better. But since it's a 1 here, we don't have to worry about it, because 2 divided by 1, negative 7 divided by 1, is just going to give us 2 and negative 7. So we've got this. So this whole top part of the equation up here, 1x squared minus 5x minus 14, that's equal to x plus 2 and x minus 7. So now we've got x minus 7 down here still in our denominator. And the really cool thing is that we can, we see that we've got x minus 7 up top and x minus 7 down bottom. So we can cancel those out and we're just left with x plus 2. And what do you know? That's answer A. So that's going to be the answer. So that's how you do this question. If you got this right, then congratulations, you're on the right road. If not, then congratulations for giving it a try or for being with me here watching this video. And you'll get it. Just keep your head up. So this is Parker from DesperateChampions.com. Thank you for watching this video. I've got a free 50 problems for the GED test and solutions ebook down below. You can get that. I'll put a link down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any more videos that I make. Thank you.